the world was focusing on Dogecoin after Elon Musk tweeted that he only spent 25 years in a Tibetan monastery and is the first you want to get ahead of your competition and you must have a higher domain authority. If you're tired of receiving spam emails sent to you via your contact form on your website, this tutorial video is for you because I'm going to show you how to set up a secure contact form with HCAPTCHA and WP Forms so you can actually create a secure contact form so you get real emails from actual people via your website and blog. What I think a lot of beginners don't understand is that there's programmable bots that people make in order to mass email webmasters. So this is a form of email marketing. So instead of like collecting emails on an email list, what these programmable bots do is that they just spam. They just mass email a variety of different websites, irrelevant emails. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to protect yourself and stop getting these spam emails on a regular basis. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So this is a contact page on a demo website I set up. So let's go ahead and add in a contact form right here in the middle of this contact page. Now, in order to do that, we have to first navigate to plugins and then go ahead and click on add new. Next, you want to search for something that says WP forms. Go ahead and click on install and click on activate. Great. So it should say welcome to WP forms. Just scroll down here to where it says the orange button, create your first form and go ahead and click on it. Okay, so now you should be looking at a bunch of different templates. So the template that we want to use is the simple contact form. So let's go ahead and select that one. All right, so now the template has loaded and we can easily edit and adjust the template. So if I click the item right top there, it should change the field options. So then I can change what I want. So for example, I want this to be simple, you know, name, email, message. I, you know, it's not necessary for someone to fill out their like last name and phone number and all this specific information. Now, if you do want to add in additional information, you can by clicking on add fields. So here you can add in like their phone number, uh, different, like a name, whatever else you want to add in paragraph text, you can have additional options, but I'm going to keep this field very, very simple. Now let's navigate over to settings. So the settings is where you can change the notifications and this is where the you'll be receiving the email address. So right now it's set to admin email for the website. But say if I didn't want it to be sent to the admin email, I can just jump in here and manually change it to whatever I want. If there's a specific email address I want to use, then you just update it over there. And then the email subject, this is what you'll receive every time someone emails you. It'll just pop up like new entry, simple contact form. So you can just change this to what you want, like new entry, simple contact form, maybe the name of your website, whatever. Just keep it something that you can kind of recognize easily. So anyways, go ahead and click on save these settings. All right, now let's go ahead and embed this form on our website. So click on the button that says embed. Okay, so now you have a couple of different options. So we can select an existing page, create a new page. Honestly, we already have a contact page already created. So just go ahead and click on use a short code, copy and paste this. So there we go. Let's navigate back to our contact page. Let me go ahead and edit the page. All right, so let's scroll down here and let's go ahead and add in our short code for our contact form. So click the plus sign to add a block. And now what you want to do is add in short code. So it's the short code block and then copy and paste. And that's it. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and update the page. Great. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there we go. So now we've successfully added a contact form to our website. Let's go ahead and set up HCAPTCHA for our contact form. So what I want you to do is first navigate back to your WordPress dashboard, click on WP forms, and then navigate down here to where it says settings. Okay. So once you're in the settings tab, you can go ahead and click on the CAPTCHA menu item. And then right here is where you can set up everything for HCAPTCHA. So you have your option to have no security, recapture or HCAPTCHA. In this tutorial, we're going to be using HCAPTCHA and it's very simple. The only thing that you need to put in here is site key and secret key and then click on save settings. It's literally that simple. So let's navigate to HCAPTCHA. Now we need to sign in and create an account. So let me go ahead and do that. So go ahead and click on sign up. And then right over here for companies or websites, we want this one that's at HCAPTCHA for publishers. We're publishers, so let's use this one. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and create an account. So you can sign with GitHub or Google or just sign up with an email. So I'm going to use an email. All right, so once you sign in, you're going to be on this page that says, welcome, let's get started to use HCAPTCHA. You need a site key and an account secret. So your site key is right there and your secret key is right there. It's literally that simple. So let's go ahead and click on continue. 
Okay, so now this is where you get everything set up. So step one is we have to add in a new site. Okay, so add in a new site key. This is just allows you to name it whatever you want. Now the host name, this is what you can put in for your website. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. We'll click on add a new domain and there we go. And then we can have the captcha difficulty moderate and then the filter captcha by audience interest. So if you click on info, please note, this is just one of many waiting factors. Setting interest does not change the challenge settings at all. So it's totally up to you whether or not you want to fill this out or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on games and entertainment and maybe I'll click on one more. We'll say news and current events. There we go. Okay, so let's go up here and click on save. Wonderful. So right now we have our host name all set up. And so let's get started. So go ahead and first click on settings. And now your site key is right there. So go ahead and click on copy and then navigate back here and then paste. There you go. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to get our secret key. So let me go ahead and click on save. And then let's navigate over to settings. And then right here under the settings tab, this is where our secret key is. And then we go over here to the secret key, paste it in. There we go. Then let's click on save settings. And that's it. <laughs> it's literally that simple. So you've just successfully set up HCAPTCHA for your contact form. Now, please note that you are going to receive a welcome email from HCAPTCHA at some point that'll allow you, there we go. So verify your email address, there we go. So you're gonna get this, verify your email address. Once you go ahead and verify your email address, it's going to uh, request that you set a password for your account. So if you're wondering like, that's kind of weird, I just put my email in and I'm inside, the, <laughs> inside my account, that's how it works. So once you verify your email address, then it, you can set a password for your account. Okay, so if we take a look at our contact form, let's go ahead and reload the page. And then you're going to notice that there's no H capture. You're like, what did we do wrong? Actually, there's one final step that we need to add in for our contact form. So navigate back to WB Forms, go ahead and click on All Forms. Once you're here, then we navigate to where it says Edit. And then the form template will be here. And then you have to click on H capture right there. And then H capture has been enabled for this form. And there you go. Go ahead and click on Save. And now let's go back to our contact page, reload the sites, and there you go. So now you've successfully set up HCAPTCHA. So now you actually have a secure contact form so a real person can email you. It's going to protect you from bots because bots have a tough time filling this uh, HCAPTCHA item out. And so it's just a really effective way to minimize spam and allow your audience to actually contact you. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to set up HCAPTCHA with WP Forms so you can actually put a secure contact form on your WordPress website. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. My name is David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.